I am going to show you step by step how to create this habit tracker in Google Sheets, as well as how to use it, which will massively improve your personal productivity. Now, if you're interested in more content about project planning, personal productivity, and digital planning, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add extra columns. And I know approximately how many I would need. So I'm just going to speed this up real quick so you'll have an idea. And then after, after that is done, I'm going to start writing the text. So the month, the dates as well as the total amount of time I've done that habit in this month and the goal. I'm also going to add a reward column. So if I reach my goal, I can pursue that reward that I have set for myself. Now it's time to add the habits. I'm also going to put emojis next to them just to make it a little bit more cute of course you can make yours look however you like and i'm gonna add quite a few you can add more or less it's up to you and then I'll just adjust this a little bit and now the columns that have the dates on the top I'm going to make them a lot smaller because there's no point in having them take so much space because we are going to put check boxes in them I'm just gonna select all of these boxes and add the checkboxes here. Now it's time to add the formula that will count all of the checkboxes together. So this is the formula I'm using. As you can see, the yellow part will also show you what you have selected in your formula. So it's all selected and you don't have to do this every single time with every single row. I just drag and drop like this. And as you can see, the formula works for every single row. All right, so now I'm going to add the times of day. So this is a way for me to separate my habits. My real habit list is a bit longer than this one. And separating them by time of day kind of creates a routine for me so it's easier for me to look at the long list of habits you don't have to do this if your habit list is very short but it's completely up to you and yes basically this separation has made it easier for me for example to wake up in the morning and see okay these are the things i need to do during morning time so it has helped me a lot. I like to separate them. And I'm also going to freeze this column and I'm going to do it like this. And as you can see, now it's not moving, even though I'm moving this around. So now I'm going to do some text formats and add some color and all of that basically make it look pretty nice so you actually look forward to looking at it every single day because visual aesthetics really do play a good part in you actually using 
your planners or trackers. At least that's my experience. I love to use a nice set of colors. Obviously, as you can tell, pink is basically my go-to. I'm also gonna briefly talk about rewards. So basically, make sure that the reward is not something that is actually jeopardizing your habit or habits. The reward should be bigger or smaller depending on the amount of times you're actually doing the certain habit or how big the habit itself actually is. For example, working out 30 minutes every day deserves a bigger reward compared to drinking a glass of water in the morning every day. So the one that takes more effort should have a bigger reward so it would actually be motivating for you. I know we're not in January at the moment but I put in January so I could show you that if I made this for the whole year I would copy and paste this whole tracker, paste it down below and then add the second month, then paste it again and add the third month and I would just have multiple sheets in one Google Sheet page because I like to separate them by quarters. So. January, February, and March is the first quarter of the year. Then there will be a second page, which is called quarter two, and, and that will have April, May, June. Then there will be quarter three, which will have July, August, September, and then quarter four as well. But if you don't want to do this, you can also put all of the 12 months in one sheet. It honestly depends on you. But from my experience, I like to separate them by quarters. I feel like if I have one month for every page, that's a bit excessive for me. So three months on every page is perfect. Now, since I've pasted the habit tracker, the formula, the formula won't be quite right because it has to match. So I just kind of redo that. It's not that hard to do. It's pretty quick. And then I'm going to add my goal amount of times that I want to pursue that habit. I add the goals every month. And now I'm just going to quickly show you how to use it. As you can see, when I tick the boxes, you can see the total number being displayed automatically on the right side. Once you reach your goal, you'll have a reward written down. This is a very straightforward habit tracker and it works if you want something that's nice to look at but also a great start to habit tracking. If you like my habit tracker and would like to have it for yourself, I have linked it in the description box below. It's free, all you have to do is make a copy of it into your Google Drive. Habit tracking is great for gradual daily progress but setting goals for the year is just as important to have the bigger picture that you're working towards so make sure you check out this video on how to set goals purposely for this year and break them down to make them achievable thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video ciao